a little bit snappier, you roll into it, full power, a little bit of back pressure. Your attention should mostly be outside the front of the cockpit. As we come back to our heading, I anticipate it. Great low traffic, Skyhawk, 4-0 uniform, departure leg, 1-0, departing to the east, great little coffee day. All right, I'll perform some clearing turns there. Now we're going to go ahead and go through some steep turns. We're at 7,500 feet. I generally don't pick a heading to perform these at, I pick a road. A visual reference landmark off in the distance. It can be parallel in roads, it can be lakes, it can be mountains, it can be something that you'll obviously see though. So I have this road, I'm gonna fly parallel to it, entering, and then I'm gonna roll out on the heading that is parallel this road. So big level flight, trim for level flight, power set to 2400 RPM in this 150 horsepower 172. And from here, I'm gonna enter a left steep turn by applying left rudder and left aileron together to stay coordinated. I'm applying the left rudder because I'm applying the left aileron. So it's to the degree. And I like to be a little bit more snappy with it. Once I've entered the turn, then I'm gonna add an audible amount of power. In this plane, because it's only 150 horse, I might just apply all the power because we don't have a lot of excess power with all that extra drag in a steep turn. So entering the left steep turn, we're gonna go left rudder, left aileron, rolling, 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 45 degrees, a lot of back pressure and some power. Now I'm looking at my horizon on the cowling and I'm keeping it static where I come down, oh, I'm climbing. Okay, well, I'm gonna now lower that nose just a little bit. I'm not relaxing my, my bank angle. I'm just relaxing some of the back pressure to let the nose settle, which will take away my climb and now I have my level pitch attitude. And this is the same level pitch attitude for almost every 45 degree bank angle in this aircraft. So it's something that you can be fairly consistent and intuitive with. As we come around to our recovery heading, we use a lot of right rudder as we use aileron together, relax the back pressure and reduce the power to then level off here at our 7,500 altitude. Some examiners I've experienced want you to enter the right steep turn or the other direction steep turn right away. I'm not a big fan of that and it's not part of the maneuver in my mind. Um, it, it's, I want you cleaning this aircraft up for straight and level flight and then going into the other direction turn. So here we are, we're level flight, power set to 2400 RPM. I'm on my road, I feel stabilized, and now we're gonna go right rudder, right, right aileron into our right steep turn, applying full power, only using the rudder because I'm using the ailerons when entering these. Now you can glance down and say, oh, well, I need to step on the ball, and it is. It's just the minorest amount of rudder input. Compared to when you're entering and exiting the maneuver, it's minimal, okay? So think of it more as this, subtle pressure that you can reference on the turn coordinator every once in a while. I don't want you fixating it. Your attention should mostly be outside the front of the cockpit, referencing the horizon to that cowling to hold level flight. As we come back to our heading, I anticipate it by adding left rudder, left aileron together, relaxing the back pressure and reducing the power back to 2400 RPM as we hold level flight. Some people will roll in, come mistakes were rolling into a turn really slowly. There's a lot how low the nose has. Now I have to pitch up aggressively, which bleeds off airspeed, and the full power isn't going to do the same thing that it did when I did mine originally. So rolling into it slowly isn't always the greatest unless you know exactly how much back pressure you need throughout the entire entry, and that could be something you learn. It just, again, I'm looking at the tips and tricks of making this a little bit more efficient of a learning process for you. If you're a little bit more aggressive with the aileron and therefore the rudder input, you're going to enter that 45 degree bank quicker, which means power goes in and back pressure, aggressive back pressure can go in more quickly to where you're more used to it. If you go slow, uh, you're, you're, uh, there's so many more variables that you have to account for that uh, it will be a little bit more, fr like you won't be perfect and that will then possibly become frustrating. So a little bit snappier, you roll into it, full power, a little bit of back pressure, there's no time for that nose to drop. I'm in level flight, I got there right away. And the same thing for rolling out. Hey, I'm there, a lot of rudder, a lot of aileron. The other issue with not being so snappy with it is the rudder is more of this ethereal thing. You don't know how much you need to use in that moment. Right? If I use a little bit of aileron, is it just this minor amount of rudder? It's harder, whereas if I go really aggressive with the rudder, which will be useful, because I can just push on the rudder a bunch, and that will be more uh, because I'm using the other one in that similar amount.
Right on, so that is your steep turn uh, walkthrough for the day. Um, common errors, tips and tricks, and ways of thinking about it. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more training videos with me. I do take requests.